or watching the station covering all of the DMV. DC News Now continues. And we dealt with the wet weather the last couple of days, and today we continue that trend. So a wet Wednesday on tap. We're tracking already some of those showers to kickstart your Wednesday morning, especially right around the D.C. metro area in Northern Virginia, D.C., as well as over towards Montgomery County, already starting off with some light showers. We also have some patchy, dense fog to talk about, too. Now we'll see that rain continuing to be with us, or at least the early afternoon before we start to notice those breaking apart and starting to dry things out. But those clouds will certainly stick around today. We'll be drying out even more so as we get towards tomorrow. Although there could be a few showers, Thursday looks to be the driest day out of the work week. And we're also looking at the potential for some rain from Helene. Right now, that's Tropical Storm Helene. And by that point, it would just be the remnants of Helene and some of the outer fringes of some rain bands pushing into our area. That could be as early as Friday. So closely monitoring that system as well. The radar, though, out there this morning, some of that green on the map, like I mentioned, Northern Virginia, D.C., as well as over towards Montgomery County. Also uh, seeing some reports of some of that light drizzle back over towards Prince George's County as well, just north of Clinton. But we have more of that wet weather on the way just south of our area. Some steadier rain back over towards Roanoke and Richmond. That still has to lift its way northward. So we're going to look at some more steady rain that will be pushed across the region and really filling in across the area through the latter half of the morning and into the early afternoon. Not only do we have to contend with the damp roadways, also have to contend with, with the fact that the visibility is low for some parts of the area. D.C. just dropped back down to about three miles of visibility. We're down to two miles in Manassas, about a mile in Culpeper and Woodstock, four miles in Frederick and Leesburg, back over towards the mountains region. That's where we have a dense fog advisory. That's back over towards Garrett County and Allegheny County into Western Maryland, also parts of West Virginia, also under a dense fog advisory. That goes until eight o'clock this morning. That's where we could see that visibility down about a quarter of a mile or less. Those current temperatures before you step out the door this morning, low to mid 60s, currently 66 though in DC, slightly warmer over towards some of our coastal areas over towards Maryland. Maryland, including Annapolis and Lexington Park, lower 60s along and west of the ID1 corridor. So here's that rain filling in through about 7 to about 8 o'clock in the morning. And we do see some pockets of some steady to heavy rain at times possible as that moves through. Should start to notice those showers breaking apart by the middle of the afternoon, right around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But we could see it still a few sprinkles around, but those clouds will certainly stick around through the day today. Highs will be into those low to mid 70s. Now I do want to talk about Helene, Tropical Storm Helene as of the 5 a.m update. We could see that continuing to rapidly strengthen over the course of the next 24 hours. Could it be a hurricane as early as this afternoon as it skims the Yucatan Peninsula. Then as it moves over the very warm Gulf waters, it will rapidly strengthen. Talk about a category three hurricane. That would be a major hurricane at that as it approaches the Big Bend region and the Florida Panhandle into later Thursday. And then it will continue to weaken as it moves farther inland. So some of those outer rain bands, we could be seeing those pushed into our area as we get towards Friday. So there's Helene, and then we have some of those outer rain bands that push through here. Are we looking at any wind associated with Helene? I think not. I think more so we'll just see the, some of that precipitation associated with it Friday. And then we should dry things out slightly Saturday before more wet weather on the way before eventually uh, the remnants of Helene continues to push its way off of our coast. So we're looking at temperatures back into the middle 70s by Sunday. Shanika, what are you seeing on the roads? All right, good morning.